Hello, friends. Uh, welcome to Vlogmas. Um, hopefully you saw the video I posted yesterday. It wasn't really like a Vlogmas Vlogmas video, but with the pandemic, um, my life is just going to be a lot more boring than it normally is for Vlogmas. So, um, we are going to, I'm going to be inserting some throwback videos because I do have a lot of footage that I've taken and never used. For now, though, um, I, it is December 1st. I'm mailing my Christmas cards. I haven't remembered to do that on time in a long time. Um, and I also found some old mail from my other house that I had forgotten to mail, so I'm mailing that out as well. Some of it is like fairly old, but it's all like thank you notes and stuff, so probably should still go out. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna head to like Charleston proper to try to get a birthday card for Tyler. So I'll see you then. like super 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 cute um they're like like a weird space it doesn't really look like a card shop but they have like a calligraphy um classes and stuff like a calligraphy studio that they teach people out of and um then there's like a little card shop off to the side so i'll show you what i'm getting um i also found i was planning on getting a thank you card for my friend brooke because she made me a um, like going away cake when I left the hospital. So I got her this. She actually, her mom actually made it. So it's like kind of for her and her mom. And then um, my friend Melissa is having a baby and I saw this and I thought that would be perfect. Um, and then it says, congratulations on your tiny human. I think it's adorable. And then for Tyler, I got this one. It says, your butt is cute. Oh, and happy birthday, which is kind of like a joke because I always tell him he has like a cute butt, but he doesn't think he has a butt. So that's my little birthday card haul. Um, I will show you my Christmas cards when um, I get home. I have one framed because they turned out so nice. I thought that would be cool to like frame our Christmas card every year. I don't know. Um, but I think unfortunately it's going to kind of like ruin a vlog moment that you'll see in the future because one of the vlogs that I'm going to post, um, it's like a vlog that was already recorded, um, was a day that I got those Christmas cards in, um, so I don't know. But, um, anyway, I'm going to go home now. I thought I would probably get like coffee or something when I was out, but there's not like a lot of places that are like conducive to that. This is actually kind of a weird neighborhood. Um, so I think I'm just going to wait and get Starbucks when I get home because we're like right next to a Starbucks. So... I did spend like a lot of time browsing like a lot of time I'm wondering why Tyler hasn't like called concerned about my safety because I've been gone for a while um but I finished up with a peach green tea lemonade that's like my favorite thing from Starbucks um yeah I, I don't do too much to it usually I get sweetener in it but I feel like the girl at the counter like conned me out of the sweetener she was like do you really want sweetener in that and I was like yeah and she's like well the peach is pretty sweet and I'm like Oh, maybe I don't. Like, I'm dumb. Like, I know how I drink this. I usually get sweetener. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna head home now. I'm gonna eat lunch. I got a cake pop as a snack because I was really hungry and I hadn't gotten lunch yet and I needed lunch. So, yeah, I'll check in in a bit. So I'm having like a super late lunch, but this is the Thanksgiving leftovers that we still had. This is kind of the last day for them in my opinion, 
I got some green bean casserole over here. Honestly, I will go back to the recipe that like uses canned green beans and Frenchies, French fried onions and cream of mushroom soup because this was a lot of work and it didn't turn out any better. In fact, it's much worse. Um, mashed potatoes, a little too garlicky, but whatever. Um, that was like packet gravy, honestly. Um, this is stovetop stuffing because Tyler really prefers stovetop to regular stuffing. But I did add in sausage because I thought that would be a nice addition, and it was. And then I have some cranberry applesauce because Tyler doesn't like cranberry sauce. But the cranberry applesauce was a huge hit with both of us, so I will definitely make that again. So I was hoping that Tyler and I could like pow out together on the vlog, but that is not going to happen. Tyler is extremely tired. Um, I accidentally woke him up like in the middle of the night last night. Um, and he couldn't fall back to sleep before work. So he is napping right now. And it's Tuesday, so I'm going to make tacos. We actually do eat tacos after Tuesday. And I'm also going to make some raspberry margaritas because I called home. And I was shopping today and I asked if we wanted margaritas. I knew we were out of margarita mix. So I picked up stuff to make raspberry margaritas. So I'll make those. But yeah, we just, I'm just going to make the tacos like I do every Tuesday. It's just like the recipe. I'll show you the stuff that we use. It's the old El Paso taco seasoning and it's just like their recipe. They... Down south, they sell them in containers like this as opposed to the packets, which is like a lot more than a packet would have. Um, so we just get that, have a pound of ground beef. And yeah, so I'm gonna get started on that, but I will show you the margarita making process because I've never like made something like that from scratch. So we'll see how it goes. Also, while I'm here, I'm just, while I'm here, I'm just gonna show you my shirt um, because everybody was commenting on it today. I'm just going to try to stand in front of the camera and then um, I'll try to flip, like mirror image, flip the video in the editing because then you can read it. Um, but I just got this a few weeks ago. It's like it, you paid money to a charity and they sent you this hoodie and like it resonates with me. So I wore it and everybody liked it, which is good. So, so. Uh, that's actually the timer for the simple syrup, which is hot and obviously it should not be hot. Obviously that is a hindrance to making a cold beverage is adding something hot in. So I'm going to set this off to the side to cool, as the recipe says. Um, I'm going to clean out the pan so that I don't end up with sugar like so I have muddled raspberries I don't have like any drink making kits or anything like that we don't drink enough alcohol or make enough cocktails to necessitate one of those um, but I just used a whisk and um, like one of those little containers of raspberries and it worked beautifully um, so, the recipe also calls for three tablespoons each of um, lime juice. This is just, um, this is lime juice right here, and this is a tablespoon measurement. So, I'm going to do three of these little, like, shot glass measurements. One. Three. It also calls for um, four ounces each of tequila. That'll be like four of these little shot glass, or eight of them. Yeah, eight of these shot glass measurements. I don't know if I'm gonna, gonna have enough room in here. Okay, 
Um, definitely not. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add four and then mix the whole thing up and add the last two once it's already in the glass. Um, so I'm just going to use exactly the same whisk that I used to mash the berries to mix this all up. Trying to make sure that I get like everything fully incorporated. Nobody wants like a big drink of lime juice or a big drink of tequila and no raspberry. That would be yucky. And then there's simple syrup as well. It really should be cooler. Yeah, it's pretty hot. It's calling for three ounces of that. So like six ounces each. So six ounces total. Uh, how am I going to do this? I'm going to set this in the freezer for a couple minutes and I'll come back to it. He's a bit sleepy, but he's happy because he's got tacos. Okay, so this is the final margarita product. Um, I did leave some like the margarita, the uh, oh my god, I'm struggling, raspberry seeds in mine. I did strain them out though for Tyler's. Um, and this is my taco. I accidentally got a little bit of margarita on my taco, but it was before I added the simple syrup, so hopefully it didn't ruin it. Um, yeah. So one of the things that South Carolina has that Western New York does not is Bluebell ice cream. And we've been looking for the bride's cake ice cream for like, basically since I got here. I saw it once in stores and I didn't pick it up and then I've never seen it again, which is a huge bummer. But I did get this Christmas cookie ice cream, and it is very cute looking, honestly. Um, it's sugar cookie flavored ice cream with chocolate chips, snickerdoodle, and sugar cookies, red sprinkles, and a green icing swirl. And I am pretty excited to get into it. Tylero is playing a new computer game called Slasher's Keep, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's pretty into it. I've never played it. I don't really play video games. I play The Sims a little bit, but not much else. Uh, but, you know, it's an interesting reprieve from World of Tanks. Thoughts? He doesn't have any. You, got, you guys, my Spotify raft is up. I'm so excited. I look forward to this literally, like, every year. Bad Bunny. Interesting. I don't think I listened to him at all. And I definitely did not listen to that song. And I didn't listen to any of those podcasts. Sorry about that. We got a call from our real estate agent we had to take, but um, I'll just go through the songs. I'm not going to like read them all out, but I'm not at all surprised by any of them, really. So I'm actually going to sign out for the night. I was going to try to take you along with me to do yoga, which I am going to do, but I'm not going to take you along with me. Um, so I did finish up my 30 days of yoga challenge yesterday, and that was, like, really amazing. I, I, the yoga revolution challenge is just really good. I will link, um, I did it, and it links one video, um, that I'll have up 
like going up in the middle of vlogmas um so i'll have that link down below um and then you can check it out and then i will have your um adrian's video linked in that but um after that i'm going to be doing a 30 day challenge that i kind of created but basically it was inspired by something that one of the commenters said on a different video that wasn't part of revolution but i did during the same time um it was focusing on foot health and I had really bad plantar fasciitis and she basically said like she did as well and that she did this video for 30 days and it totally helped her feet so I saw a ton of change in my body after the revolution um, challenge and I thought if I focus 30 days on my feet maybe I would see tons of change in my foot health I'm hopeful we'll see um, so I'm going to do that now and I'm also going to do like a sequence that kind of helps you transition between downward dog and low lunge because that was something I really struggled with during revolution. Um, and I got better at it, but I'm not like a hundred percent there. So I thought I could try that video, see how much it helps, see how much it doesn't go back to it if I need to. Um, but I'll probably show you some yoga tomorrow, which brings me to my next order of business. Um, so this video will be posted on Wednesday, December 2nd. Um, and then on Thursday, December 3rd, I will be doing a throwback video. Um, it's some footage from a trip I took with my mom. Um, I did like six vlogs from that trip and I've posted three and I have three more. So you'll see more of that throughout Vlogmas. I hope you don't mind this throwback um, kind of vibe that I'm doing throughout. I just think like with the pandemic, I'm not doing as many things this month um, as I normally would. So I don't want to bore you guys. Um, and... I just don't have as much content so I'm gonna throw in some old stuff and then I will get that out of my computer and you guys can see it and it will kind of fill some time um, so the next vlog that you'll see that's kind of like in real time will be um, Friday December 4th and that is Tyler's birthday and on Thursday I'm gonna be making his birthday cake so I'll take you with me to do that so yeah, that kind of brings us all to the to the close. Um, thank you for joining me for Vlogmas Day 1. I have finished Vlogmas before once, so hopefully I can again this year. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys for the rest of the month. Uh, and have a nice day. Bye!